Hey guys, what's up? Cynthia Calderon coming to you live this afternoon. I am making my super duper favorite keto or low carb quesadillas. <laughs> um, I, ever since I made these, I cannot get enough of them. I will eat them all the time for lunch because until I get sick of them because um, they're so easy to make. It's they're, They don't take any time to uh, put together as long as you have the ingredients. Um, and I like that you can do so many variety of different things to put into your quesadilla. So I'm going to be um, sharing with you exactly what, how I do it, what I do, all the things. It's super easy. Um, I think I, I watched my, um, my, uh, one of my friends on Instagram, she made one, she made a pizza one and then I started making mine and I under if I'm, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like a, a TikTok trend. So, <laughs> um, definitely got it off TikTok. So I'm going to be showing you how I make mine and the ingredients that I'm going to be using. So these are the low carb wraps that I pick up. Um, they have this big size and then they have a regular size. So this one is high in fiber, which is perfect because if you're following low carb or keto, you need to make sure you're getting in enough fiber. Um, this is the one away, one of the ways to do it. Um, even with your vegetables and stuff. So, um, I already have my skillet uh, warming up over here and I put some avocado oil in it. This is the avocado oil that I use. So I've already got that in there and it's heating up. So you're going to need to heat up your skillet while you're making your quesadilla. So today I'm going to be making mine with, um, turkey oven roasted turkey deli meat. Um, I just get mine at the deli and I get mine cut at like a three instead of like the thinner slices, I get like a, a bigger, a thicker slice. So um, I already got my turkey right here, it's all diced up. I'm gonna also put some guacamole that I just mashed up one avocado, threw some salt in there. And you can throw a little bit of lemon if you want, I didn't. Um, mozzarella cheese, and then of course some jalapenos. Now you can also throw in like um, sour cream or cream cheese, or banana peppers or lettuce spinach all those things you could definitely do that but it's totally up to you guys what you want to incorporate into your quesadilla so just make it your own and have fun with it okay and my kids love it and they love that they get to make their own uh, quesadilla so what I do is I get the tortilla I put it on the plate and I cut it from the center and then I just place everything in these little these little uh, triangles. So I put my turkey meat on the top one because you have to think about like when you're gonna fold this over, right? I'm gonna put a little bit over here on this side because I want it to be packed with like protein, right? So let me introduce myself. My name is Cynthia Calderon. Um, I help women follow a low carb, ketogenic lifestyle, and I'm also a fitness instructor. Um, I'm a mom of four, and um, I've been married to my husband. He's my best friend. <laughs> He's my best friend. I've been married to him forever. Um, and so we started following this lifestyle three years ago, and we fell in love with it. And ever it's the it's like we love it because everything that we like to eat is in this um, lifestyle. Like we've we are fitness junkies. We like to work out together. Um, it actually fitness actually changed our lives, guys. Like fitness made our marriage stronger. And all it took was for me to be like sick and tired with the with my body for me to decide like okay I'm gonna start working out and you know doing doing what I need to do and it, and it was a ripple effect and we've been on our fitness journey for going on I want to say nine years it's been eight and a half years ever since my son my son is eight he was six months old and he was my last baby I have four kids and he 
he uh he didn't really, I didn't really gain a whole lot of weight. I was, you know, it was a, a lot of it was my fault too. Anyway, so I put everything in here. I didn't even show you guys. I'm over here talking about my life. I put guacamole here, cheese and deli meat here. I put more deli meat here, cheese and guacamole. And so I, you just flip these up. And then now I'm going to put some more cheese and guacamole here or a little bit more meat like you could do whatever you want to do here but I put the, um, everything inside already so I'm gonna put a little bit more guacamole right here on this side and then I'll probably put a little bit more deli meat over here just cuz I need some protein in my life protein in my life guys as we get older, that just reminded me, as we get older, you need to make sure that you're eating enough protein because if you don't want to have saggy skin as you get older, uh, it's because you're lacking protein. So I put that in there and I just folded it together, guys. Just like that. I'm going to push it all and I'm going to stick it in the skillet with um, my avocado oil and I'll show you guys what it looked like. So you just kind of jam pack all this in here. Make it nice and pretty like that. I think, I don't know if I've shared this with you guys already. I know I've done a TikTok. But basically, you just put it in your pan like that. And you let it cook or brown. And then you'll flip it over and then do the same thing. So, um, as I was saying... As you get older, you want to make sure that you're eating enough protein so that you don't have like saggy skin and all that because that has to do with your muscle preservation. So whenever, um, as you get older, make sure you're, you're having enough protein in your body. Don't ever stop eating steaks and stuff like that. So I know it's rude to talk with my mouth full. So anyway, that's how I started my fitness journey. I did the whole, you know, eat five meals, a day you know breakfast snack lunch snack dinner snack and work your life off in the gym and that however I it worked I got good results um, you know just like any other lifestyle I was up and down and uh, at about five years into that uh, I was tired of eating the same thing like all the foods that I eat now with following low carb and keto was what I would cheat on my lifestyle with back then. So like my cheat meal was guacamole and, you know, chips and salsa and quesadillas and like all the Mexican food in the world and all that stuff. And I was always self-sabotaging my efforts in the gym and during the week. And I was getting tired of it and I was getting tired of eating freaking sweet potatoes and quinoa and brown rice and chicken breast all the dang time. And because I'm very picky and I was like, that's all I would eat. And they would always say, keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Eat the same meal all the time. It's okay. And that's what I did for five years. <laughs> so let me come over here and flip my stuff. All right. Let me move this. So you guys can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Yeah. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to flip it over. And you can see how it's like brown here. If you're like my daughter, my daughter is like, I don't like nothing burnt. Don't burn it. But I like my stuff burnt and crispy. I don't know why. Okay. So that's going to cook a little bit more. And so um, I was looking for... I was looking for something that I could, a lifestyle where I could lose weight, eat what I wanted, and hey Brandy, girl, yes, this is so good, it's my favorite, like, every, I want to make a quesadilla all the time, and you can just throw whatever, you, you can even make a pizza one, I was going to make a pizza one, but I already made pizza, and I had pizza again yesterday, so, <laughs> um, I literally Googled like how the heck to lose weight and still eat the food you love and not having to feel like deprived or restricted and all that stuff. And long story short, I, I found out about keto and low carb. I've been doing it ever since. I've been having 
tremendous success with my weight loss. <coughs> Sarah, what tortillas did you use? Right here. <coughs> these. And these are the, the large wraps. And... These are the regular tortilla wraps that they have. So these are this is what I use. And I use these also when I do like regular low carb tacos. Let's see. I'm gonna leave that a little bit more. So um, where was I? If y'all guys have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll answer as I go. Whether it's low carb keto fitness mom stuff whatever um but anyway i just started i started following it unintentionally um and i fell in love with it like i fell in love with it i got good results i felt better about myself um i was eating the foods that i enjoy because dude dude that is important just like working out like you have to find the workout that you enjoy doing in order for you to want to go do it or get up and go to the gym so same thing with your nutrition don't be doing a diet or following a diet that you don't enjoy. If you don't enjoy the foods you're eating, you're going to mess up. You're going to cheat on the weekends. You're going to stress out about your macros and your numbers and the scale and all that crap. Like, who has time to stress over that? We need to live. And part of living is eating. I don't know about you, but I love food. I love to eat. And with this lifestyle, I found that. I found the excitement of, you know, it, eating the foods that I love and, and knowing that I wasn't self-sabotaging my personal health and fitness goals, right? So that's what it's all about. Five years of keto abs, how it has helped you. Five years of keto and how it has helped you what sarah speak to me sarah speak to me reword it because no comprendo no comprendo okay i'm gonna cut this bad boy up oh my god it looks so good it smells so good all right here it is guys holy cow so i've got hey iris hi cynthia can't wait to see what you are making girl i already made it you missed it you have to rewind and go check it out this is my favorite. This is my favorite uh, lunch right now. I'm obsessed with it. So we've got some turkey deli meat in here. We have some guacamole. We have some jalapenos. We have some mozzarella cheese. And that is it, girlfriend. Mmm. If your diet ain't making you dance, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're eating because this is good. Oh, oh my God. So good. So good. So good. You asked where you were in your story. Oh, <laughs> for real. Come on, Michael. You better put the notifications on so you know when I'm going live. I try to go live every other day about between 12 and two o'clock um central standard time because one it's what time i break my fast because i intermittent fast monday through friday and then two it's before i have to go pick up my kids because lord let me tell you i'm i literally pick up my kids it takes me about an hour and 45 minutes to pick up all my kids that are literally less than five mile radius around my entire house I live on the same street all day going back and forth because I'm either fighting traffic, I'm in long school lines, or these kids are taking their sweet time getting out of school and I'm waiting for them. So <laughs> who can relate? Who can relate? I bet you every mom can. So um, I try to do my best every other day to go live around those times, okay? LOL, that car rider line sucks. Yes, and we live too close for them to ride the bus. Otherwise, all them fools would be on the bus. And so uh, I, that's what I have to do. And so 
that's my time. So when I go in the pickup line, that's my time to uh, read and do research and all that stuff. Look at recipes. I'm so glad Peyton's school. <laughs> oh my God, I would kill for 15 minutes. Like, let's do it, 15 minutes. So yeah, so anytime between before 2 p.m., Every other day, I will be going live, sharing you, sharing with you guys my favorite recipes because like I mentioned before, if you haven't caught any of my previous lives, like I, uh, I like to keep my food quick and easy and simple to make because if you got a lot of stuff going on, I mean, no, unless I'm baking like a cake or something, okay, then I'll, I'll take my time and do it. Uh, but like food like this, it's got to be simple. Keep it simple. Give me a protein. Give me a carb. Give me a healthy fat. Let's go. Like I don't have time for all the other craziness. You know what I'm saying? So that's what mom life. <laughs> okay, miss, miss over there. Quarantined. Easy is the best. Yes, Sarah. Easy is the best. You're more likely to stick with it. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, Michael, go back and rewind, watch it, check it out, and um, I hope you try it. So if you guys try this, let me know. Um, tag me when you do. I, I want to see how they come out or what you put in it because I'm always looking for um, ideas. Like I said earlier, I was going to make it a pizza, but I was like, dude, you've had pizza like three times this week. So let's make something else. So I had all the ingredients. And that's what I made. Super simple. It's so delicious. And like, I could totally like go for dipping this in some ranch. Mmm, so good. I'm a lot. I'm a lot. All right, guys. I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to finish this up. Get all ready to go get my kids, you know, because if I ain't first, I'm last. I'll really be in the back of the line and um, my kids will be mad at me. All right, guys. Make sure I turn all this off. Hope you enjoy. Share with your friends and family. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.